Okay guys, so in this video, I'm going to be re-explaining the method to get custom PC controls for Mortal Kombat X. Now, I made this video six years ago, but and a lot I received a lot of feedback, <clears throat> and I want my channel to grow, and I want people to find a clear and concise video. So I'm going to show you <clears throat> how I get the def desi my desired controls for Custom 1. Now... You may be wondering, I can't get the arrow keys over. It's currently in use. So I'm going to just select them from here. I'm going to just select them from here. And then everything should be okay. I should be able to use the arrow keys. Let's see. Oh, I still can't use it. I still can't use the arrow keys. <clears throat> the reason why you can't use the arrow keys is because you need to deselect them from custom 1, 2, 3, and 4. Every single one of these custom controls has to be deselected so to do that I'm going to show you how so just put any key that you want in this section so I'm just going to put a bunch of numbers just to make sure that I start clearing the key okay and then you want the arrow keys to be completely gone be sure to save it each time <clears throat> okay and then go back to controls you don't have to worry about the back punch, the front punch. And I do note, if you do want to use numbers as your controls, I would recommend against that because it makes it very awkward to play. <laughs> Let's see. Custom 3. See that? I'm taking the time and I'm removing every single possible arrow key in my presets. And you have to do this each time. It's a little bit time consuming and tedious when there should just be a unassigned control option like in Injustice Gods Among Us and even uh, Injustice 2. So there you go. I have now deselected every single arrow key from these controls. Why, Prophet, why don't you have to deselect it from these? Because there's no arrow keys at all here. Now, the control scheme that you will be using is Custom 1. You cannot, and I do not recommend, using two keyboards for PC play. <clears throat> if you want to use two keyboards to play, which means that like, you have your friend play a keyboard and you play a keyboard offline, you can do this. It, you will both just be using the same control scheme, but on different keyboards, and this does work because I have tested it. Now, I'm going to show you how to get all your desired controls into this thing. So say you want the arrow keys to be up. So first, get the arrow keys that you want into the desired section. <clears throat> okay, and then next, start getting the, arrow, the other keys that you want for this. So these are the controls I prefer to use. <clears throat> and now I'm going to show you how to clear the keys. I'm going to show you how, okay? So basically, you want to always get a free slot. The best way to do this is to start clearing the arrow keys. So here, for down, I'm going to press W. Because W automatically clears that from there. For I'm going to also put W there, put W there, and I'm going to put W there. So now I just have the arrow keys. And in case anything goes wrong, I'm going to save that. So now I don't have to worry about the arrow keys. It's completely good. <clears throat> so, next I want to clear all these extra keys that I don't want in my control section. So we're going to do it the exact same way. We're going to use keys that, are, that we want to use in already. And it gets easier the more we clear. So I'm going to put W here. I'm going to put W here. W here. I'm going to also put W here. W here. W there. And W there. So I've basically cleared pretty much everything. And now... The easiest way to get the W away is to just use a control that's already in here. So for example, flip stance is left control for me. So I'm going to put left control there. And I'm also going to press it again and press space bar. Do you see how there is an empty control there? This makes it very easy just to go ahead and press left control. And that's it. I have now finished inputting all my desired controls for Mortal Kombat X. And the following other buttons need to be deselected as well. Release, con release check off, alternate control off, and input shortcuts on. Save your preset. And now, 
you should be able to go into your game and play with your desired controls. Let's see, I'm going to select my ferret character, Aaron Black, and I'm going to play against a bot, Sub-Zero, on my ferret map, The Cove. Now, going into this, I should be able to use the, the next following keys that I demonstrate on screen now on this, and I'm also going to show you that this works for the other side. So already, my arrow keys are working. Up, down, yep, front punch, back punch, uh, front kick, back kick, flip stance, block, interact. Uh, what else have we got? Throw. <clears throat> it all works. Therefore, my control method that I've demonstrated works. And you can combo really, really well on PC if you put the practice in. Let me show you just some combos real quick. Okay, let me just clear this out of the way. Completely possible and easy to do because you have just selected the most ideal PC controls for you. And you can no longer worry about having to learn controller because you have got, you know, your preferred control scheme. And it's amazing. You guys will love Mortal Kombat X way more than you did before because you can do this. So, I hope this helped. Go have fun. Go combo. And just have a blast because now you can play any character in the game because now you know how to actually, you know, use your deep, your preferred control scheme of um, keyboard, you know. And it's so fun. When I discovered this six years ago, I was so happy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment to let me know that this helped you out. Thank you.